Hey guys, welcome back to another video on offensive Go tutorial series. And in today's video, we're going to discuss about IO packages, a reader and writer interface. Now, this reader and writer interface, we will be using it thoroughly and heavily in the future video. So it is very important for us to discuss it as early as possible. So, so I'm going to use this video for that purpose. So if you look at the official Go documentation, you will find that there are two uh, types in IO package, reader and writer. These two uh, types are, is, uh, are interfaces. If you re read it here, writer is the interface that wraps the basic write method. Write, write, writes len p bytes from p to the underlying data stream. It returns the number of bytes returned from p. We must not modify the slice data even temporarily. Implementation must not in P. So okay. So this uh, writer type and the reader type, what they are doing is, so if you see the re reader type, it has an, it is an interface for first of all. Then it has a method inside it called read, which takes uh, as p byte slice as an argument and returns the number of uh, bytes written to a data stream which can be a network socket file or anything like that and also if some error happens it returns the error similarly for write we have the same method write which takes a byte slice as an argument and writes it to some data stream and returns the number of bytes written or error so this is the reader and writer type in io package so i've written a small code here already i'll, I'll quickly walk you through this code so that you can understand how it is working so starting from the line one uh, we'll ignore this boilerplate and we'll move on to this type so we are defining a, a custom user defined type called demo read which is a structure and on that structure we are defining a receiver method uh, called read and if you notice the signature it is exactly same as this So if, uh, if we implement this read method on this custom type, then uh, we can assign this type or we can treat this type as an io .writer, uh, reader type. Uh, similarly, we have the demo write type. On this type also, we are defining a write method. Similar, similar like this. So in effect, these two types, a demo read or demo write and demo read um, after implementing these two methods on them we can assign them or we can treat them as io.reader or writer type so in the main pro program we declare these two variables a reader a writer a reader of type a demo read which we have defined here and a writer of type demo write and we initialize an input variable uh, which is a byte slice of 4096 length and a capacity and on this reader type on this reader variable we call this read method which is this method here so this uh, method first of all will print this uh, console uh, output which is an in and an arrow symbol a greater than symbol and it will return the number of bytes read from the standard input and store it inside this byte slice b which we are passing here as input so in effect we are reading something from the standard input and if there is some error we are saying log.fatal ln unable to read data so log.fatal ln will print uh, will tell us whether we were able to read the data or not and then we are saying printf read these many bytes similarly we are doing writer dot write and we are writing uh, whatever we have read from the standard input to the uh, we are passing it to the write method and this write method will print out to the standard output whatever we pass it as the byte slice and it returns the number of bytes written to this as variable so we'll say wrote at these many number of bytes so it is a very simple uh, program so it, it just uh, 
will set the base for you for the future video like echo server in the echo server we take the uh, network request and we return whatever we have uh, received as a request we return as a response so it is very important to understand this now i'll show you how it works on terminal let's say go run demo dot Okay, so first we need to insert demo, then go run demo dot go. So now it is asking uh, for the user to give some input. We'll say hello, echo. It says read 11 bytes out hello echo. So whatever we write here, it is giving as our output and it is telling how many bytes we have written since the byte slice uh, which we have declared here is of uh, capacity 4096 that's why it is saying that's why it is saying wrote 4096 bytes so now this pattern of uh, writing for uh, reading from io dot reader type and writing to io dot writer type is so common that we have built in uh, method inside io package called io dot copy so we can simplify this code heavily by using the inbuilt io dot copy method so what we'll do we'll simply say placeholder and error equal to io dot copy now the vs code shows us that copy method accepts uh, destination of type io dot writer and source of type io dot reader since we have implemented this read and write method on type demo read and demo type so we can use them here as io dot writer and io dot reader so we'll pass address of writer and then address of reader and that's it all those uh, all those lines of code are condensed to just one line io.copy and we pass the writer and reader if you want we can check if error not equal to nil then we'll say log dot fatal n unable to read write data So we'll save this and we'll call now if we say hello echo we get output as hello echo if we, if we say something test we'll get output as test uh, i think this is ugly we can just remove it for now we'll save it We'll close and start again now this time we'll say hello we get hello output we say echo we get echo as output so yeah with this io.copy we get one more advantage we don't have to call our read and write method inside a loop uh, it will indefinitely take an input from user and give the same as output anything so yeah, so this is one added advantage of using io.copy method. So yeah, that is all I had for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe the channel for more such contents. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye bye.